Hi there! Today I'm going to show you how to build something very unique within an Excel workbook. I'm going to show you how to create a modern looking navigational menu right at the top of your spreadsheet. This way you can much more easily navigate between worksheets. Plus this will give your workbooks a very modern, sleek, and professional look as well. So to start things off, this top navigational menu is very simple. There are only four sheets and you can navigate to each sheet simply by clicking on the next name. Finally, on sheet 4, there's a space where you can change the name of any of your navigational buttons. All you have to do is click in the cell that you want to change, type in a new name, and boom, the navigation is updated on every page. Alrighty then, let's get into how you would actually build this modern navigation. We will be starting with a blank Excel workbook. The first thing you want to do is change the row height of row 2 to 30. You can do this by right clicking on the row 2 heading and selecting row height and then change the height to 30. Next, let's add in a fill color for our top navigational menu. Highlight rows 1 through 3 and then use the ribbon to apply the fill color. You don't have to use the same colors I do, really the color choice is completely up to you. Next, we are going to copy this worksheet three times. To do that, right click on the sheet tab near the bottom of your workbook and select move or copy. Click on move to end and make sure that the create a copy checkbox is checked and then click OK. You can repeat this process two more times until you have four sheets ready to go. Now the fourth sheet is where we will put our navigational names that can be changed at any time. Go ahead and click on cell B5 and type in navigation. You can adjust the column width if you want to make it look a little nicer, but you don't have to. Next, right below where it says navigation, type in page 1 and then hit enter. Type in page 2, enter, page 3, enter, and finally page 4. The next step is to give each of our navigation cells a name. To do that, select cell B6 and using the name box near the top left of your workbook, type in a name like button 1 and then hit the enter key. Do the same thing for cells B7, B8, and B9, naming each cell button 2, button 3, and button 4. Now that we've got our name set up, it's time to add the buttons. In the ribbon, go to Insert, Shapes, and select Rectangle. You can then draw the rectangle anywhere you want. After you've drawn the rectangle, right click on it and select Size and Properties. In the Format Shape window that's popped up on the right, under Properties, go ahead and select Don't Move or Size with Cells. This will ensure that our shape always stays where it's supposed to be, especially when we resize or delete rows and columns. You can go ahead and exit out of the shape format window when you're done, and under the shape format in the ribbon tab up top, click on the align button. In the menu, be sure to select snap to grid, and this will make it easier to size and place the shape we want it. For example, we can now move and resize our shape so that it fits nicely over cells B2 and C2. Now that we have the shape the way we want it, we can go ahead and right click and copy. Now we can paste it three times, once in cell E2, once in cell H2, and once in cell K2. Awesome! The next thing we want to do is assign our navigation names that we created before. To do that, select the first shape and then in the formula bar, type in equals button 1 and then hit the enter key. The shape now shows the value that is in cell B6, which we named button 1. Repeat this process for the remaining shapes, assigning button 2, button 3, and button 4 to each shape. Okay, we're starting to get somewhere. The next step is to add hyperlinks to each shape. To do that, right click on the first shape and select link. Click on place in this document and then select sheet 1 and then click OK. Now, whenever we click on our first button, it will take us to sheet 1. Going back to sheet 4, repeat the process for the rest of the shapes. Right click on each shape and select link. Select place in this document and select sheet 2 for the second button. Select sheet 3 for the third button and select sheet 4 for the last button. Okie dokie, now it's time to make our buttons look a little bit better. Holding the control key, select all four shapes with your mouse. With all four shapes selected, change the fill color to match the background you chose for the top navigation bar. 
adjust the font size to 18, center the text, and change the font color to white. You can also go to the Shape Format tab in the ribbon to get rid of that blue outline color as well. Alrighty then, now our buttons are pretty much complete. You can go ahead and copy all of them by right clicking, with all four shapes still being selected of course, and then select Copy. Once the shapes are copied, you can go to Sheet 1, select cell B2, right click, and then select Paste. Go ahead and do the same thing on Sheets 2 and 3. Okie dokie, now there is only one more step to take at this point. Going back to sheet 1, right click on the first shape and change the fill color to a slightly lighter shade. Do the same thing for button 2 on sheet 2, button 3 on sheet 3, and finally button 4 on sheet 4. You have now completed your modern navigation menu at the top of your workbook. How cool is that? If you enjoyed this video or have any questions, be sure to like this video and leave a comment down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more Spreadsheet Life content, and I will see you in the next Spreadsheet Life video.